the medicine in Israel, when we're talking about public medicine in Israel, is in real trouble. And we feel that if we're not going to do something about it, if we're not going to change some fundamental problems that are there, uh, the people in Israel are just not going to get the medicine that they deserve. And this is a, one of the largest protests that I've ever seen in the history of the Medical Association. There are about 4,000 doctors that came out here and said, we can't stand it anymore. We have the capability, we have the knowledge of giving the best medicine that's possible, and because of the way the system is running at the moment, we just can't do it. The demands are not only about salary. No, absolutely not. Salary is one of them. Not even the main salary. The, mo the first and most important demand that we have is manpower. There just isn't enough, there aren't enough doctors, uh, there aren't enough places in the hospitals, and we just need more doctors to take care of the people. That's number one. The other thing is um, the people in the peripheral areas, such as the north and the south, just don't get the right medicine, and we think that we need to do something to get good medicine in all the areas of Israel, not only in Tel Aviv. The third thing is that we have some uh, professions, some such as anesthetists, that are, I won't want to say uh, endangered, but there are very, very, very few doctors there, and we need to get more doctors there. Many go to the private uh, sector? Um, well, we have we have three things. They go either to easier professions, they go to pri the private sector, and they go abroad. Many, many of them go abroad because there is a shortage in the world. Um, Israeli physicians are extremely in demand, and when the conditions are much better there, um, not only salary conditions, but also working conditions and research conditions and, and pe capability of taking care of patients, they just go abroad. Uh, we also think we have to look out uh, for the future. The younger doctors, they just can't continue working 26 hours, 24 hours a day, do, uh, working like this uh, um, about seven, eight days like that, a month and even much more. One of the main statements we're hearing here is that this is a protest not really only for the doctors, but rather for the patients, for the sick. We think it's it's, mo it's foremost for the patients. Our motto is that we don't think that there's any possibility that you'll have a system that's wrong, the doctors that are suffering, and the, and the patients will get the proper care. So we really want to give the proper care to the patients.